So in geometry, another thing uh, I noticed everybody was ready for, or uh, the Alex program said that uh, people were ready to learn, is the distance between two points, points in a plane. And this really comes down to using an equation or using the Pythagorean theorem. I'll kind of show you both of them in these notes. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So these kind of problems, uh, we're looking at a coordinate plane here, like this. And it wants us to calculate what's the distance between C and G. If it was just like one below the other, we could just count the spaces, right, and we would know. But this isn't so easy because it goes across halves and such. So uh, if we drew the line here with the ruler, we still might not be able to get the right answer. So for this, we're going to kind of use an, an equation for this. You're going to want to write this down and keep this handy. So when you get this kind of problem in a coordinate plane, you're just going to use this equation right here. And we're just going to compare the x's and the y's, take the square root of the differences of them, and that will then tell us the distance between them. And I'll show you why that works, because you can do this another way as well. But so here we just need to look back at these points, and we kind of, um, it gives us the information that we need. So we know g is... 0, negative 4, the x is 0, the y is negative 4, and then c is negative 8, 1. And we could probably bring these down here if we wanted to. So we'll just say g is equal to 0, negative 4, and c is equal to negative 8, 1. All right? And this is our x, and this is our y, right? x and y. We'll just make this 1 and 1, and 2 and 2. Just be consistent with those. Always choose this set as the 1s and this is the 2s. Then we would just plug these in, right? So we do the square root of, this is going to be our 2, so it's going to be negative 8 minus 0. We're going to square that, and we're going to add to that the y2, which is 1 minus y2, negative 4. We're going to square that answer in the end. So then the only thing that might give us some trouble with these is if we forget how to add and subtract positive and negative numbers. <clears throat> and I'm not going to redraw this um, square root sign again. I'm just going to put the numbers in. But here we have negative 8 minus 0 is negative 8. We then square it, and we get 64. And we're going to add 64 to 1 minus a negative 4. But remember, if we're minusing something, we can change the sign, and we can add. That gives us 1 plus 4 is 5, squared is 25. <coughs> yeah. So then we add these together, we're going to get 89. <coughs> the square root of 89 would be our distance there, right? And that's kind of our answer. Now we could see if there's a perfect square for 89 which might be uh, 8, that would give us 64, 9 times 9 gives us 81, so we're not going to have a, an answer. So if you want an exact answer, this is really going to have to be your answer. Square root of 89. Okay, so we got that answer. That would be our exact answer, square root of 89. We could, though, if you wanted to, we could just take the square root of 89. If it's asking for the actual decimal answer, we did just want to take our calculator and just do the math, right? So 89, let's turn it on actually. Here's my square root. That would give us 9.4. Like that. So if we want the decimal answer, it could be, if it's to tens, we'd be a 4. If it was to hundreds, it'd be 9.4. Four, three, right? We just look at what we have there. Okay, so that's your using this equation. But there's another way. You can also use the Pythagorean theorem. If you remember, the Pythagorean theorem is really a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And in the reality, what we just did here was that. And <clears throat> you'll kind of see that, I think. So with this one, we kind of want to make this into a triangle. And that'll kind of help us. And we want to make sure it's a right triangle. So we're going to kind of connect this. 
draw some lines here. We just have some idea. And then we're going to make a right triangle. So this will be easy to count because we're going to go straight down, right? So we're going to go, looks like right here. And then we're just going to need to go across, right? That. And there's our right triangle. It's a nice right angle. And we then just need another length of the sides. We can figure out what this is, right? So here we just count them, right? One, two, three, four, five. That's A. B can then be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this one we don't know. We'll just make this D. Same thing. So for Pythagorean theorem, we just plug this into this equation over here. So a squared, we'll just call this a, call this b, and it's going to be c. And we'll just leave it c, right? So a squared is going to be 25 plus b squared, 64, and that's c squared. Then that's going to give us 89, just like we got down here, right? That's this other answer. So 89 equals c squared. We take the square root of each. And then again, exact answer would be square root of 89 equals C, or if we want to do the decimal, we can then have 9.43. That's kind of how you do these. Make sure you have these in your notes, and uh, you should be ready to go and solve these in Alex and be able to show mastery for this. Let me know if you have any questions in class.